Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So I'm going to mainly read about um, a man in the Bible. Um, he didn't trust in the Lord and he tried leaning on his own understanding. Um, so please open up to Jonah. Chapter 1, verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it. Because its wickedness has come up before me, but Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down for... He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed to Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to his own God, and they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck, where he lay down and fell in, uh, into a deep sleep. The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us, so that we will not perish. <clears throat> then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this calamity. They cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. So they asked him, Tell us who is responsible for making all this trouble for us. What kind of work do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven who made the sea and the dry land. This terrified them, and they asked, What have you done? The sea was getting rougher and rougher, so they asked him, What should we do to make you make this sea come down for us? Pick me up and throw me into the sea, he replied, and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. Instead, the men did their best to uh, row back to land, but they could not, for the sea grew even wilder than before. Then they cried out to the Lord, Please, Lord, do not let us die for taking this man's life. Do not hold us accountable for killing an innocent man. For you, Lord, have done as you pleased. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard. And the raging sea grew calm. At this, the men greatly feared the Lord, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made his vows, made, made vows to him. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah, and, the jo and Jonah was in the belly of, uh, of the fish for three days and three nights. So here it talks about how Jonah did not trust God. And in Proverbs 14... 12, it says, there's a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. So Jonah took the way that he thought would be right to go to Tar Tarshish, but he did not want to, like, he thought that was what was best for him, but he, he didn't know what was going to go, what was going to, um, where he was going to go. In Proverbs 20, 24, it says, a person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? So the Lord told Jonah to go to Nineveh. So that's how the Lord was trying to direct him. But Jonah tried choosing his own way that he thought would be best for him, his own understanding. And so he left God, so he couldn't be led by the Lord. And so how it says right here, no one can understand in their own way. And so we don't want to become like how Jonah was um, and don't have any trust in God. So in Proverbs 22, 17, it says, Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart. heart. And have all of them ready on your lips, so that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you. So... Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. So the Bible gives you wisdom, and you're supposed to listen to the Bible and apply, apply what you learn from the Bible to your heart, and um, then you will gain trust. So that's like you get in a relationship with God when you read the Bible because when you read the Bible, it, you, God's talking to you. So imagine a friend. You would have trust in him, but a stranger you wouldn't. So... We gain trust, that's, so we gain trust by talking with God and having a relationship with Him. And in 
Uh, Proverbs 3, 6. It says, In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. So, Jonah um, did not submit to God. He didn't give himself completely over to God. He tried... Um, he tried going his own way, but God would have made a path for him. Would have made him go straight to Nineveh, and everything would have been good. But he didn't, and this was all I had for today. Amen.